Meanwhile, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon is due in the DR Congo's capital, Kinshasa, today. He is to hold talks with Congolese President Joseph Kabila. And on Thursday, his mission takes him to South Sudan, where he is to again push for an end to the country's civil war. Now, the Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission has announced a breakthrough in South Sudan in the South Sudan standoff. Former Botswana President Festus Mogai, who leads the commission, said the South Sudan warring parties have agreed to a proposal to move one. 1,370 Abrik Mashar forces to Juba, including 700 to serve in the joint police of the capital, Juba. The international community has committed to help facilitate movement of opposition army to the capital, Juba, ahead of Abrik Mashar's return and formation of a transitional government of national unity by the 1st of March. There was further negotiation, so it was agreed that we will bring the first and second stages together and therefore bring 1,370, including uh, 700 of the uh, police for, for Juba. The donors have committed themselves to transport all these forces so that by the first week or by the first of, uh, of March, the Tigono, the vice president would have moved in and the Tigono would have been established.